Okay, so what I want to do is explain to you guys what we're going to do over the next eight weeks. I'm not going to talk for a super long time. I just want to get you an idea of what we're doing today because we've got to get right into it. So today, the whole goal is to get as much data, as much numbers on your swings as possible. So how we're going to do that, some of you have used it before, you already said, we're going to use the hit tracks. So the hit tracks is going to read every swing you take in here off of that machine. And it's going to read what the ball does. So how fast does the ball go? How far does it go? At what launch angle? Do you hit a lot of ground balls? Do you hit a lot of pop-ups? Do you hit a lot of line drives? It's gonna tell us where in the strike zone you hit the ball hardest. So a bunch of different numbers that we'll have. All right, we're also gonna use, you already have one on your bat, but we're gonna give you all one. We're gonna use a blast motion sensor. So the blast motion sensor tells us everything your bat's doing. So how fast your bat is going. Is your bat going up? through the hitting zone, down through the hitting zone, how long does it take you to get your bat to go from here to contact? So we're gonna have all your bat data, all the ball data, and we're also gonna video you and have how your body is working. Make sense? Yeah. So that's our goal today. We get all of that information. All the coaches will be able to look at the information and figure out what it is that you need to improve on most and how we need to improve on it. Three things we're gonna work on over the next eight weeks. First thing, Bat speed. Why is bat speed important? Yeah, the faster you can swing, the harder you can hit the ball. The harder you can hit the ball, the more doubles you'll hit, the more home runs you'll hit. Your batting average will be higher because the ball will get through the infield quicker, get past the vendors faster. So we're trying to build bat speed. We're gonna do that by working on your mechanics. So after we look at your video, next week we'll have different drills for you to do. Your drills might be different than yours, but mechanically we're gonna get you to move better so you can swing faster. We're also gonna use overload underload training. So we're gonna use heavy bats and light bats. Some of you have done it before. So we're gonna use that. We're also gonna use medicine balls. We've got a whole medicine ball drill series that we'll go through throughout the eight weeks. All right, the second thing we're gonna work on is your bat to ball skills. So how often can you put the bat on the ball, specifically the sweet spot of the bat? For me, bat path has a lot to do with bat the ball skills. So if you have a really good bat path, you're probably going to square the ball up more often than not. If your bat path is really poor, you won't. You'll swing and miss more, you'll foul more balls off, you won't strike balls really well, okay? So we'll work on your bat path. Again, without going too crazy in the bat path, here's the things that we look for. One, we want your barrel to get in the zone early. So by in the zone early, we just mean that your barrel is going to get in the zone back here. So I'm not going to swing out here because now I'm not getting in the zone early. Does that make sense? At the same time of getting in the zone early, we also can't get it right. This might feel like it's in the zone early, but the swing is long. So we're in the zone early, but we also have to be short and direct to the ball. Does everyone see that? See how close the barrel stays to my body? Doesn't do this. As I turn the bat back, it stays close to my body, and now I can get it in the zone. Last thing, swing decisions. What's a swing decision? What do you think? Yeah, what balls you swing at? what balls you take, right? So if you swing at good pitches to hit and you take the poor pitches, you're making good swing decisions, you've got a better chance to hit the ball hard. If you chase a lot of pitches out of the zone, chances of hitting the ball hard go way, way down. So those are the three things we're gonna practice. Bat speed, bat the ball skills, or bat path, and swing decisions. Today we're gonna get all the numbers, then we're gonna have the drills as we go forward, working on all three of those things. Sound good? That's my spiel for the day. Okay, so now we're gonna set you guys up. We're gonna get you loose first, and then we're gonna start to go, and we're gonna get all your numbers. Oh, yeah. Game one, nine. There we go, 51. Now he's driving it a little bit. Yeah, 50, almost 53. Oh, that ball's hit really well the other way. 52, single to left. 